I think yellow fever poses one of the greatest global threats. Two of the global trends that are driving uh, this re-emergence of uh, 80s transmitted diseases and the potential for yellow fever uh, have is urbanization and globalization. We are really seeing large outbreaks. They're moving away from small, what we use called sylvatic outbreaks, to quite, quite a quick and rapid outbreaks in urban areas. Yellow fever is a good example of a disease that's been known for a long time, that is important and that the world can control. And it's critical for me that the world take these diseases seriously and put the appropriate resources on it. To do that, though, we have to figure out where to use the vaccines, how to prioritize those areas, and to make sure that in those areas that are a priority that we get to very high coverage. What is different with this strategy is for it that we will have a, a big coalition at global level with all the partners together. With the global sh uh, shortage that we had in this outbreak, you, if, if you have a, a robust stockpile, once you detect an outbreak, you quickly start uh, mass campaigns and you should be able. Vaccination really works. We have a, a vaccine that works safe and gives you lifelong immunity. We will maintain an emergency stockpile and we will also improve uh, the readiness and the preparedness of countries. One of the challenges going forward with this strategy is to work with countries to discuss what's a realistic uptake for them, how long is it going to take, and what are the incentives to keep that coverage high. Because when countries relax and coverage drops, that's when they are at risk for epidemics. We often see situations where we have networks of laboratories and people look at that and say that's great, but do they have adequate reagents? Do they have trained staff and are they ready to go at any time? To me, that type of ready readiness analysis is absolutely critical. You can have a rapid response team to go where the, the sick patients are. You make epidemiological questionnaire, you see where it come from, where uh, which area you have visited, and all those kind of information will help you to target first your vector control activity and you are going to make a, a complete approach uh, in a specific area. When this new strategy comes out is we will take it to our policy committee and our board to ask the question what else should Gavi try to do to help support countries in their quest to try to control this very severe disease. If we combine all of this with the willingness of all partners, I think we can achieve our goal of eliminating yellow fever epidemics.